In this video, we will prove the Newton's equation of motion from Lagrange equation. The general form of Lagrange equation is like dt of del t del q k dot minus del t del q k that is equals to g k. Okay. And that is equation number 1 we take. Here q1 equals to x, q2 equals to y, and q3 equals to z. Okay, and the generalized force component are g1 equals to fx, g2 equals to fy, and g3 is fz. Okay, now the kinetic energy T is given by half of m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square and take this equation number 2 now for x coordinate equation 1 take the form like so from equation 1 we get only for x coordinate ddt of del t del x dot minus del t del x that's equals to fx but from equation 2 we get that del t del x that's equals to 0 and del t del x dot that's equals to amx dot ok so using this value in that case we get dt of mx dot minus 0 that is fx and from this derivative of this mx dot is the momentum so that is p so that is fx similarly taking the y and z coordinate we get separately that is derivative of is x coordinate so for y that is py that is equals to fy and for z coordinate derivative of phz that is equals to fz thus we get that f vector that is equals to dt of p vector and this is the newton equation of motion that we obtained from lagrange equation